Okay, so uh, let's try this reaction. Hopefully, um, you all can see that this is a significantly rearranged product from one from the reactants to the product, right? And notice there's no reagents. We're just heating this stuff up, okay? So we just went over this reaction. So why don't we try to remember what the name is? What's the name of this process called? Yeah, this is a Claisen rearrangement. Don't sound too excited right, about it, but good job. Okay, so there's the Claisen rearrangement. Okay, so how does this happen? Okay, remember there's that six electron electrocyclic uh, rearrangement. So this is a pericyclic reaction. Okay, so remember just like uh, when we were doing things like the Friedel Crafts reaction or um, uh, those types of electrophilic aromatic substitutions. Uh, in those ones, the benzene ring or the aromatic ring became a nucleophile. Okay, same thing happens in the place and rearrangement. Okay, so did everybody write down what the product is? Because I'm going to go over the mechanism. So I'll erase that. And I've actually done us a favor and written the reactant in such a way as to show the kind of obvious electrocyclic nature of the reaction. So it might not be where you see this um, allyl group like pointed down like that. So it makes it easy to see, okay? If, if it's like pointed up and around, you still got to realize that it can point down and do that place in the right rearrangement, okay? So like we said, this is going to be a concerted reaction. So we're going to have how many arrows at once? Three arrows. Very good. Yes, very good. OK, so the first one, like we said, is going to be the benzene acting as the nucleophile. That's going to induce that double bond to go there, breaking the carbon-oxygen bond there, and actually forming what's going to be the eventual what? what functionality are we going to make there? A what? I can't understand you. It's not going to be an alcohol. It's a ketone. Yes, very good. I think we talked about it. Okay, so we've got that, and we've also got, so if we look there, I like that, okay. Like that, okay. But in the product, it's not a ketone, right? What is it? Yeah, it's the enol form, or in this case, it's the actual compound phenol. So again, I'm just going to draw that back. So what I'm saying is, it's a phenolic compound, right? So what do we have to do to get from here to over there? Okay, but we can't just move electrons around. There's a hydrogen there. So we have to interconvert between the ketone and enol form. Okay, so what's going to happen is there's going to be, well, since we only have this molecule in the reaction mixture, it's going to be another one of these molecules that's going to be acting as the base. So I'm just going to write B in there going to deprotonate that, and then there's going to be another one acting as an acid like that. Okay, so it's going to deprotonate here. It's going to protonate like that. Okay, so you're going to go from the keto to the enol form. Okay, is that the normal way that you see things go? Do they normally go from the keto to the enol form? Would they rather be a enol than a ketone usually? No. no. Why? So why does this one do it then? Uh, 
Yeah, so what we're doing is it's just like that friedel crafts reaction. We're reforming that aromaticity that we broke. So in this case, we don't have an aromatic compound. Okay, so that intermediate is not as stable as this aromatic phenolic compound here. Okay? So that's the kind of quintessential place in rearrangement. Okay, make sure you are familiar with that reaction mechanism. Okay, any questions on this one?